Hello hamster friends. I am sitting in what is now one of my favorite spots in my house. It is because of my new hamster. This is my very first video for this channel, Typewriter the Hamster. I wanted to introduce myself and also introduce you to Typewriter. A few weeks ago, I was taking a nap and I was having a very vivid dream that I had a hamster, a little brown hamster named Typewriter. And when I woke up, I just felt this feeling of such excitement. I have not had a hamster that was my very own ever. I am approaching 60 years old. I have four grown children. My daughter had a hamster when she was young, but I don't remember the excitement. She was excited about it, but I was busy raising children, cooking, cleaning, and this dream was just magical to me. I didn't tell my sweetheart Jason where I was going, but I jumped up from my nap and I said, I've got to run some errands. So I went straight to the pet store, just the basically the first pet store that came to mind. I walked in the door and went straight towards the cages where they have the hamsters and the gerbils and the rats and all of that. And this little brown hamster came running to the front of her cage and put her little paws up. And I just felt like immediately that was my hamster. And in the dream, the hamster was named Typewriter. So I thought, you know, as crazy as it is, this is Typewriter, that she is meant to be mine. I was so excited. I haven't had that kind of excitement over anything like that since I was a little girl. I have learned so much already in just a few weeks. Hamsters are not just for children and maybe in fact, they're especially not for all children. They're a huge responsibility. They require an adequate sized cage. They require bedding, things to chew on, appropriate food, snacks, attention, fresh water, I remember my grandfather saying that everything needs fresh water. I knew when I bought typewriter that I needed to be committed to all of these things. It's daytime right now and typewriter is fast asleep. Hamsters are nocturnal animals. She is a Syrian hamster and I'm starting my own personal journal about hamsters, especially Syrian hamsters. I have another channel where I focus on journal making and that is my full-time business. That's my craft. That's what I do. So to me, it just feels natural to start a notebook or a journal with information about hamsters. And I'm so excited about the whole process. I will share everything that I learn. But for now though, this is just an introduction. So let me show you some of the things that I have set up and introduce you to Typewriter the Hamster. This is a little typewriter. She's gotten so much more friendly day after day after day. She's not quite ready to just climb into my hand yet, but she lets me pet her and she takes snacks from my hands. I'm trying to teach her not to bite. Her house is a 40 gallon breeder tank, so it gives quite a bit of square footage for her to run around and it is tall enough that she can have a second story. I bought some of the bendable bridges that you can buy in the pet store. It's the little wooden rods that are strung together with wire. And then I bought a wooden platform that holds blocks for children. So the wood is very safe. It's safe to be chewed on. And I created this sort of little barn thing with a lot of bedding behind it that she can climb up on. She is able to get on top of it, but she's also able to get under it and to run around behind it.
Here comes Typewriter from behind the barn. I think she's thirsty. I think she wants some water. Looking for pumpkin seed. You looking for pumpkin seed? Oh, you're not gonna eat it right now. Don't bite. I don't have another one. I don't have another one. Hi, good morning. Let's take a look at Typewriter's cage. When I first bought Typewriter, she was in one of those tiny little critter trail things, which I do not recommend, unless that is only for a day or two until you get something sufficient. From that, I moved her into a 20 gallon tank, and now she is in a 40 gallon breeder tank, and I still dream of getting her something even larger. Typewriter really loves art, as you can see. She's got these colorful paintings that are simply taped onto a large piece of paper behind the cage. So they're not inside the tank where she can get to them. There is the structure that I built. That's got the little pieces of wood that I was telling you about. I will try to put a link to those. And then this platform on the top that is very safe to chew on even for children. So that's the reason I picked that up. She's got her water bottle, she's got her chew toys, she's got her wheel that she can run on, and she has her party lights. That is simply a string of lights from the Dollar Tree. It is battery operated, and I turn that on at night because all of the other lights in the house are off, and I feel like it almost gives like a desert in the nighttime effect. It's a low light, and she comes out and just goes all over her little tank and she's got a little bit of lighting above. You can see the reflection of my camera there. She's got her name on the tank. This has a nice metal lid that closes to keep our cats out. That's one of the reasons I went with a tank like this versus a cage with the wire openings. I don't want my cats to be able to put their paws inside and scare typewriter. On top, I keep this basket from the Dollar Tree that holds her food, some snacks, her little grooming brush, a brush to clean her water bottle, and various other things. She has some extra blocks to play with, and she has extra sticks to chew on if she needs them. I'm pretty sure that Typewriter is sound asleep right now, but she has gotten to where she will come out sometimes if she hears the little bag of snacks rattling. I'm not going to bother her on purpose, though, because she will be out and very active this evening. So that is my introduction. I'm Lynn, and the introduction to sweet little typewriter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I plan to share so much on this channel. Here I am, a middle-aged woman with a brand new hamster, and I love her so very much. I think I'm addicted to having a hamster now. I will be sure and share my hamster journal that I'm working on. I will share information about keeping hamsters and, of course, shenanigans from typewriter. Please remember to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. I will be back every week with a new video. Also, leave me a comment. Do you have a hamster? Do you love hamsters? What is your hamster's name? 
Let me know what you would like to see as far as hamster care, and I will do my best to figure it out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.